How's it going guys and gals? This is Advanced Warrior here and you can tell by the music we are back with another Tiny Wars video. This time, another Tiny Wars uh, replay commentary of a match that I had that was honestly really fun, really uh, intense I would say. So uh, let's not waste so much time and get straight to the COs. Player 1 was me playing as Gage. Gage has a zone radius of 2. Uh, default CO zone bonus for all units, uh, plus 10% on offense and defense. And uh, Gage's CO zone specifically gives his indirects and naval units a plus 20% offense and a plus 10% defense, combining that with the CO zone plus 30 uh, offense and plus 20 defense so uh, yeah he's kind of the offensive uh, naval and indirect uh, units but um, since we know that in a lot of advanced wars games uh, naval units aren't so common like if you watched my uh, you watch my replay that I did with CJ that map uh, was uh, it had uh, naval units in there, it was common for naval units, but in most maps where a lot of land vehicles and uh, some air units uh, are more in play, I guess this is uh, just a way to compensate Gage is to give him the uh, indirect bonus as well. Uh, his CO zone also synergizes really well with battleships, but uh, unfortunately no battleships for this map because uh, no ports. Alright, as for his power, uh, his seal zone becomes global, all units get the plus 10% offense and defense. All his indirect units will get a plus 20% offense and plus 10% defense combined with the uh, the plus 10 of the default seal zone. And all his indirect units will gain plus 2 max attack range. So yeah, it's almost, uh, almost like if you were to compare him to another CO in Advanced Wars, kind of like Grit where if you're just out of range of his indirects um, he uh, will just pop it and then next thing you know you find yourself in range and you're like oh crap well I'm gonna be losing things left and right um, yeah I think Gage is a really interesting CO um, yeah uh, we'll talk about, we'll talk a little more about him uh, during the game all right as for my opponent my opponent is <sighs> Tabitha my personal demon CO for Tiny Wars. <clears throat> All right, because uh, uh, personally, I think she's very strong. Um, although she has a zone radius of zero, all the units in there are getting plus 60% offense and plus 60% defense. They can come out and you know, one shot a lot of things, and they also can stand very strong. Um, the slight problem, though, with Tabitha is that if you can deny her opportunities to increase her CO zone, then her CO zone just gets stuck with that one unit. Um, yeah, I, th I think with Tabitha you have to be very aggressive and uh, make sure that you're taking uh, safe engagements. Um, if you're one-shotting uh, infantry with a recon or something, and if you kill like three infantry with, the, with that Tabitha recon by itself, then you get it up to one. And then you can just start scaling from there with uh, with indirects, or you could just put a maybe diagonal with uh, diagonal from an enemy, and then just have two enemies attack from the CO zone, possibly getting another ten until you increase it up to sixty, and then you have a two seals two tile wide CO zone of all the units getting plus sixty. Yeah, pretty strong. As for her power. Uh, her CO zone becomes global. Everyone gets that 160 160 uh, stats. As well as dealing an 8 damage missile to all units in a 2 tile wide radius, it'll randomly target between the highest HP or the, or the highest funds of enemy units. This is like a stern meteor strike basically. And uh, if your opponent is unfortunately clumping up their expensive units together, it can crush them hard and sometimes maybe you could just have a bunch of uh, plus 60% units uh, like killing almost everything they touch 
or like almost killing everything they touch. <laughs> but uh, if you do do it, your zeal, your seal zone goes back to zero. So you probably want to use this power if you know you're going to win right after you use it. Or if you put yourself in a really good position where you could possibly build it back up. Yeah, that's Tabitha. <clears throat> Alright, as for the map, it is Stalingrad again. Here we see we have uh, three bases over here, in the corners, and then a little off to the side are the HP are the HQs. They are slightly exposed. Uh, we have a lot of these uh, super plasmas that act like pipes. You can't go through them, even air units. We do got this uh, meteor that can block. I mean that you can break to unlock a faster access instead of going through these beaches. Uh, same for the side up here. A lot of temporary uh, temporary tiles here, which are not that bad for vision. The radars on the sides over here. Uh, I personally like this map. Uh, you can almost go either way, but um, but you know in Advance Wars, uh, sometimes you can work with a, a strong side, weak side. I'm still trying to figure that out to this day. Um, got the comm towers in the corners, very contestable. These missiles don't really do anything here. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> oh, gauges seem so good. Okay, so simple bike uh, infantry. The reason that I go for bike infantry is because I want to get my base as soon as I can. And looking at the uh, infantry, uh, the second base with the infantry, I did not need a bike to capture that city. That is right in front of my infantry. Uh, I go bike infantry again because in two turns I could just go for the city over here and then I could just chain it down here. My opponent gets a free infantry and uh, he's able to catch that uh, base for free and can freely move his bike already out uh, in the middle of the map. This is uh, pretty interesting. And I just, and I'm just going for income really trying to get uh, as much uh, cities as I can oh they they, re they removed the text for the replays I think it's very I think it's kind of a nice touch so instead of just like you know just like the top just distracting <clears throat> oh my camera looks so awful I'm sorry about that guys all right so yeah I move um, my bike towards those cities and I uh, Take that bike to capture the base to capture the airport, so um, it can uh, move out faster. I probably could have taken the bike over here and maybe get an infantry to capture this airport, and then it could go through these shoals over here. Um, player two has the fortunate advantage of doing all that for free, and he, he and uh, my opponent is going aggressively for this comm tower. Comm towers give a plus 5% offense and a plus 5% defense. So um, maybe a slight tiny difference? Like it may get like a slight luck roll. Uh, it's, it's a funny way to uh, look at comm towers. It looks like I might even just skip a couple cities to get this top one myself. But uh, yeah, uh, Days of Ruin comm towers are kind of funny. Oh. Looks like my opponent might have base skipped at the bottom down here. Oh, I didn't realize. Down here looks like my opponent might have base skipped. <clears throat> and here, he's just going straight for the comm tower up here. Damaging this meteor, 97. Mine is currently at 98. And he builds a tank. And ends up base skipping again. Yeah, same strategy as my opponent. I'm going straight for that comm tower. I want to secure it. <laughs> Uh, because, as I said, these two are very contestable. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, Days of Ruin Comm Towers are very interesting because um, they can, like, uh, almost guarantee a higher luck roll and uh, deny a high roll from your opponent with just the 5% on each, which I do think is very interesting. He puts, my opponent puts the seal zone uh, in the tank. Uh, I do think tanks are uh, are very nice for um, uh, for the seal zone. They're cheap, they have nice mobility, and if they're damaged, 
you can always um, <clears throat> you you can always uh, repair them. I just wanna oops take a look at the stats real quickly. Unit count, I am just two ahead. Because my opponent did have a free infantry, but um they skipped uh, a base twice, I think. Um yeah, you don't really want to base skip so much because uh <clears throat> because your turns become less dynamic. And also the less units you have, the less vision that you have as well. So I see on the top comm tower, I get trapped and I get a little worried. Because it's like, if he's playing this aggressively, it's possible they have this bottom comm tower too. And he's already got the, the center as well. Yeah, go, go, going out with these bikes. And as I said uh, earlier, same thing with Tabitha. I put my CO in a tank up here. So, um, I can just, um, move, move this around. I can, I can join with other tanks if it goes bad. Um, I can move it around and probably buff up artilleries or indirects that, uh, aren't so close to each other. <clears throat> oh, did I base skip as well? Oh, I probably did. <laughs> Oh wow, well, that's <laughs> according to Master Combi, war crimes. <laughs> I love that guy. Um, but uh, yeah, even though uh, I am a direct special, in indirect specialist, um, I think the tank is very versatile. You can move that around and just start supporting other indirects. So yeah, as for this top comp tower, I basically just gave up and um, went for other properties that I can get. And I build uh, an artillery, recon, and infantry. Because obviously I'm, I'm gonna need some scouting because he's a little aggressive on the maps. Oh yeah, he just catches uh, my bike going past it. And then the tank can just move in, gets a nice 10 points on his uh, on an, of energy. Which is scary if you're up against a Tabitha. Gets a nice first strike from the comm tower, from the bottom comm tower. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, so sorry again, guys. All right, so it looks like my opponent was uh, able to afford a tank uh, and a flare this turn, alongside a bike. So uh, this infantry is gonna die, but I'm just hoping that I get the chance to uh, to capture something. Uh, my I know I see my opponent has two com towers, so I am behind by 10% offense and 10% defense. I get the tank down here um, to like cover this side. Looking at this now, you can kind of tell that this was a long time ago, um, because I I now usually like to go tank tank on one side so they could cover each other. But yeah, back then I was like, okay, tank on one side, tank on another side, equally split my power. That was uh, that was how I used to play. But uh, looks like I am going to be reinforcing and a lot of, a lot of base skipping here actually. Uh, I think the reason might be because I uh, miscalculated the math uh, in the days of ruin. Oh, I can't click on the base right now. In Days of Ruin, the costs are very different. There are some units uh, that have costs in the 500s. Infantry are 1500. Mechs are 2500. Bikes are 2500. So um, sometimes uh, when I'm playing Advance Wars, I'm like, okay, I have two bases left after I buy this. I will have 2000. I can buy an infantry uh, for each base. But then I realize, oh crap, they're 500 points more expensive. I screwed up, and my unit count is gonna slightly diminish alongside that. And yeah, he's getting the two the two radars in the center. They give income, they heal, I'm pretty sure, and they give uh, one, two, three, four vision tiles, five vision. I'm sorry. Uh, income thousand, 
Vision range 5, hides ground units, capture point 20, highlights no. I'm pretty sure highlights means uh, the forest. Yeah, it'd be kind of broken if uh, radars can see through force. My opponent's make a, making a slightly strong push uh, for the top here. And uh, I've got a little bit of forces on the bottom here. I trapped this bike, uh, which I'm kind of happy about. I think I do something a little dumb. I might have. Um, but yeah, I, I try to reclaim this... Uh, I try my best to reclaim this uh, comm tower. And um, he has two uh, units occupied capturing the city, so it most might be likely that um, I will finally get my own comm tower and we will be even. Just slowly moving through, putting my artillery next to my uh, tank. It, it is boosted and uh, it's protecting my tank. And here I build uh, an anti-tank because uh, I'm gauge. I want to take advantage with my indirects. Yeah, he's just getting the cities in the corner. Getting the radar, getting that city, that city as well. Another one. That's just uh, like four, four properties he just gained. Which honestly kind of surprises me. Alright, yeah, he's like considering capture the cities. These two down here will make five and six. Oh no, he foregoes the, uh, <coughs> he foregoes the capture. And, yeah, my opponent wants these two comp towers. Again, that tank. If he's just gonna keep one-shotting things. And, looks like my opponent built a battle cop there on turn 10. Let's, uh, pause this real quickly. Uh, my opponent is three buildings ahead of me. The radars. Not the Comtar, I don't think the Comtar counts. But yeah, more control of the corner up here. Me, I'm still kind of slacking behind. <clears throat> Ooh, and, and it was just in range. My... My opponent was just in range of my artillery. And this was perfect when this happened. It was like, our buff, buffed up artillery, hits that. Then I have uh, my tank, can hit it up. Then I have another tank, uh, also boosted, boom. Maybe not the best idea since this tank can now attack from a city, but I don't know if they would want to attack if I have my own backup tank up there as well. Let's see what my opponent does. I join Cap, and I basically send off the, uh, the units trying to capture down here. I'm trying to capture this radar. Uh, I kind of, I guess this is my strong side on the bottom right. And yeah, I'm just uh, killing his units and, you know, I might get this comm tower back. I just killed my opponent's CO unit, <coughs> uh, Tabitha of all people. Denied them like 20 points. I have 10 points on my own. And, uh, yeah, you know, just two income behind. Uh, how are we on units? I'm three units ahead. Yeah, here. You can also load your CO in uh, on the HQ as well. So yeah, he just got that one quickly out there. Uh, I wasn't too surprised by this down here. I had a feeling uh, it was gonna happen. All right, so he's got his battle copter coming on the top. I have my anti-air. Like, I'm pretty sure bought on the same turn he bought his battle copter. So uh, I guess good instinct on me. And yeah, I'm just like slowly capturing properties. My opponent uh, still has this one property to get. I think I end up denying it. Now let's see, do I capture my comm tower first? I'm capturing other things. The center as well. The scouting ahead, kind of suicide. And I have my comm tower now. So now we're even on comm towers. I attack first. <coughs> uh, let me pause. I attack first with my uh, weakened tank because I want to uh, bring. I want this. I want my other tank to have the CO zone with him, so my other tank gets the 10% buffs, which was probably just enough needed to kill that tank on that uh, radar. 
Yeah, it's a uh, it's like a 20% boost. Although I am like nine percent. Although my one uh, tank was nine HP. Uh, yeah. Here I'm just like trying to chip it, trying to deal as much damage as I can, and I end up trapping it down. Uh, my opponent's CO tank down here in desperation, but um, I don't see what's in the fog, and my opponent might might know uh, how to save that tank. Anti tank, anti air, yeah, just just freeze it right away. And, sur and surrounds his uh, tank to repair. A good move by my opponent. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess uh, with the CO zone, uh, it's kind of like Hawk a little bit. Uh, where if you have Hawk with a Calm Tower, 20% offense, um, you can use two tanks to kill one tank on the city. Th yeah, that was like a equivalent example of what was happening. I'm a little close to my opponent's HQ. And vice versa on the top. But I do have it protected with two indirects here. My recon comes down. Tries to deal as much damage as I can. I don't see any other tanks, so I join my tank to make it healthier. HP, not going to kill that motorcycle. My tank comes up and interrupts this cap on the top left. And I'm slowly trying to take control of, my, of the center here. Uh, I'm moving all these forces down. Artillery is protecting my HQ, the city, and my tank as well. So it's like a really nice spot uh, for my artillery up here. Up here. Battlecopter is moving down to reinforce the bottom side because I see a damaged anti air. I build another anti tank, medium tank, and infantry. Now my opponent's going for the top, and uh, yeah. Here. Here my opponent probably should have scouted first and then try to go for her in HQ cap. Um, had my opponent seen all this first, it's possible that this um, bike motorcycle could have maybe gone for another city. Ooh. But uh, that's just not the case. Did it backwards and uh, will be severely punished for it. Oh yeah, that tank is like like back in action. It's 11 away from getting plus one CO zone. Medium tank. Tank moving towards the center. Tank moving up. Putting this meteor at 48. I have my meteor at 59. <clears throat> Uses his anti-air to try to chip my artillery in order to weaken uh, any potential caps. Any potential caps. Because if this is only damage, he could use this uh, bike to uh, join cap. Yeah, this is uh, a bit aggressive down here on my end, I will admit. Uh, trying to kill everything I see. But um, thinking about it now, that 5% defense is actually um, making the calcs a bit more interesting. Alright, I am just one away from uh, increasing my zone, and looks like I will. I, I, I increased it, and it was enough to boost this artillery and that anti-tank all working together to try and kill that um, that capturing um, motorcycle. And then I go ahead and damage this one to prevent any to prevent it from capturing any more. Make sure you retreat in the center. Uh, Copter actually gets blocked by my medium tank, gets trapped actually, which is very, which is very nice because um, Copters against tanks are pretty good. They can uh, deal damage and only take machine gun fire from uh, retaliation. Oh, and I just, just heard that bomber. Oh, I, I, I gotta start looking, uh, gotta start looking at the builds now. My opponent has a bomber. He's got a flare down here as well. He's, he's doing work down here. Yeah, this was a bit too far for me. But I do have a battle copter and a medium tank coming down. No anti-airs in the area, so um, I, I think that was what I was anticipating when I sent this battle copter down. A uh, flare showing off the center. I have this city at least. Two tanks. Two tanks. Two medi medium tanks, that is. Artillery is going to repair. 
My tank is going to repair. We, yeah, we're all running away from this, uh, from this battlecopter. And my anti-air is moving up because he knows, uh, he knows he's the one for the job. And we're kind of like in slightly defensive formations, trying to protect my properties up here. Battlecopter comes down. Boom, seven damage. And yeah, I'm just looking at it. I was just like, this bike right here is scouting out everything. I'm like, I don't see any anti airs down here. I don't see anything that could attack my Battlecopter. So I almost can have some free reign here. And um, I break my own Meteor by turn 15. So now it's a nicer transition from this base. I'm sorry, from this base. And then I could just go down here and then through here. Maybe loop around these uh, wastelands because they're going through the sand. It's probably a lot harder than going ahead and looping around to reinforce uh, the bottom side. Try and look at the income. I am behind by three. Uh, looks like I probably might capture some uh, after this turn. Units are still kind of equal. I I am just slightly ahead by uh, anti-air, medium tank, and a bike. But uh, yeah, kind of just moving, kind of like be moving in with my battlecopters and retreating on this top side from my opponent's battlecopter. <laughs> and uh, yeah, leaving that bike there. It's just laying Tabitha grow. This is already at one. This is already a scary Tabitha. Yeah, a meteor is at twelve. Probably could have used the bomber over here to free that meteor. Probably would have gotten it a turn before me. Check my opponent. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. He's got a lot of tanks on this side. I got a lot of tanks on this side. Ooh. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Six damn. Yeah. Six damage. Well, I will admit it is on a it is on a days of ruin city. Um, force provide three defense. Cities only provide two. That's something I gotta keep remembering. My opponent builds two anti airs when they only see one battlecopter, which is kind of funny. So I lost my artillery on the top, but uh, I do manage to kill uh, the anti air, kill the copter with an anti-air and an anti-tank. Probably could have used the medium tank to kill the battlecopter and then move my anti-tank forward because it's an indirect. And here I'm, tr I'm like controlling the center, reinforcing uh, with my units. Because um, um, yeah, I have slight control of the center. I got this uh, temp airport here in case I had any air units that might want to refuel in the center. This is also uh, temporary vision, as I was saying as well. I think it's the vision of Vision range of two, okay, but I can't go out too because uh, pretty sure I cannot look at neutral properties. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, control of the center, able to reinforce my weak side uh, with my CO zone uh, infantry. This uh, the infantry, yeah, it wasn't gonna capture. It's gonna capture in ten more turns. Not happening. Anti tanks and tanks are coming down. Goes through the wasteland pretty nicely. Anti-air, going through the top, probably going to send this second anti-air down towards the bottom. And I build a rocket, artillery, and flare. I am Gage after all. Indirex, Indirex, Indirex. I'm hoping to create death balls. Alright, <clears throat> yeah, so this is where Tabitha works Works her magic. She is going to be al aligning herself with other units who could benefit from the, uh, from the mobile boost of... 60% uh, destroys his meteor on turn 16. Anti airs are moving through. Medium tank just doesn't reach my tank, uh, apparently. <clears throat> Killing some forces. Looks like I might get the city down here. I think I saw this bomber. I saw this bomber, I was like, okay. Gotta make sure I keep that, uh, Keep that anti-air close. So after capturing that city, I'm still two behind. Wait. No, I'm sorry. I'm still three behind. Probably because I captured this temporary airport, which does not give me funds. I can spend it and repair air units, but um, it will not give me funds. Or else this whole center would be broken as hell. 
Flare and bike stop that one infantry. Medium tank moving down. Infantry to protect my HQ. And yeah, I'm just reinforcing the center. Having my rockets up here, anti-tank, surrounded by these in surrounded by these units. Uh, come attack them if you dare. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, another anti-tank down here, and I build a duster. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw this bomber come down here on this top side, so I built a duster up here. Um, to literally counter the bomber. They're thirteen thousand, seven thousand cheaper than the bomber. And they do pretty good damage. Enough to cripple a bomber from dealing anything massive. Pull my tanks back together. Battlecopter is trying to hold reinforce back to the center. Flare. Artillery. Recon. I probably messed up my math again or I was trying to save for money. I base skipped again. Yeah, this base skipping is uh, kind of showing. It's like a bad habit I used to have. But yeah, I've got uh, a plethora of tanks over here. My opponent has a ball, death ball of units down here, and a second bomber. That is ambitious. Looks like they also base skipped. And here they're like reforming, reforming their formation, although keeping that tank uh, here on the bottom. Tanks! It almost looks, yeah, looks like this bomber's just flying around. Went up to the top, saw nothing was up here, looked down, and possibly going towards this, the bottom right side of the center where most of my units are. And I have no air defense for the time being. I, I put my tank on a radar. Kind of, probably a bad move. Pro probably a bad move because uh, my opponent can see it. And uh, he's got bombers, a bomber, and a copter on the way. Move my flares up, also recapturing the city. <clears throat> Anti-tank moves here, rocket, not gonna necessarily cover. Maybe cover my anti-tank, but that's about it. If it covered the infantry, that would be a little nicer. Looks like I'm possibly might get the city if it's if this stays alive. Pull the copter back. See the anti-air. This was a suicide capture down here. I probably should have never done that. Alright, tanks are moving up in uh, my own little ball. Recon moving forward. Artillery moving down. Medium tank. Flare. Tank. Um, tech up. Uh, versatility and utility. Yeah, there go there goes that bike. I tried to catch it for. <sighs> Excuse me. Tower does at 52. That is very scary. All right, I am very worried about the center right now. Yeah, he's scouting, trying to look for something. Bikes do decent damage against the uh, anti tank. What soldiers do actually? Bomber moving down. Infantry protecting uh, Queen Tabitha. Builds a duster. Artillery. Yeah, and yeah, we're just watching. I, I lost a huge value over there. Let's hope I can bring it back. Anti tank does well against the tank. Rocket covers my anti tank. Anti-air is slowly moving down, staying hidden in the woods. Yeah, I got uh, more forces moving up. Tank is, uh... I pulled my tank back to get that slight bonus. Glad I did, it put me at 60 actually. And I was like, alright, walls, wall it up. Take my weakest tank, put it in the hidden, put it in the hidden terrain with the most defense. I got a I got a tr I don't have a death ball. No death balls. I have a death triangle here. <laughs> and they're all in the seal zone. He's got like a little death plus plus sign. And here comes that duster to look at that range. It can cover your battle counters. Very, very well. Trying to recapture some of the cities on the top over here. Recon 
No, I'm sorry. Rocket, Battlecopter, Bike Infantry. Loading up my bases, keeping up that unit count. Yeah, he's like really slowly starting to take control of the uh, the bottom right. Oh. Excuse me, bottom right again. Bomber is going to retreat to the temporary airport. Ambitiously trying to break my. Yeah, he broke through that, no problem. Yeah, this is why Tabitha is scary. You do not want to let Tabitha build up. Just one shot in my CO zone. You can tell I was a bit... You probably can or cannot tell. I was pretty sad. But hopefully I get revenge. But if I do get revenge, you can see what's down here. At 1418 on my opponent's HQ. <clears throat> so yeah, he's going for my anti-tank again. And it's just like right in range of my artillery and my rocket. And so is this tank. Yeah. Yeah, he, he maybe you got a few kills, but um, look at yourself. I'm gauge. I'm expect a lot of interacts here. All right, so uh, turn twenty. We are even on units, but he has more value, and I'm only behind on income by one. Let's see how I push this back. I flare out the bottom, and I make sure this Tabitha unit dies. Copter. Co Duster comes in, damages the bomber. I, I load my CO zone in the artillery. Um, I think I didn't want to use my rocket. I think I wanted to move my rocket. Medium tank comes up, kills everything that was up here. Only thing left for him is this flare. And yeah, I'm trying to kill that anti-air because uh, I know my opponent would want to go for either this uh, duster or battlecopter. I have uh, tanks uh, below the center here. Rocket, battlecopter, reinforcing from the top. Flare, moving in. Uh, rocket, defending on the city and hopefully uh, can hit, hit something it sees. This infantry was suicide down here. Alright, bike. Me tank, medium tank. Loads his CO zone in the medium tank. This is a lot scarier. I remember mentioning Tabitha with uh, with tanks. Um, very versatile, very cheap. But now we're in turn 20. And my opponent put his medium tank on the HQ for an opportune attack to... Uh, <clears throat> an opportune moment to uh, load the CO from the HQ onto the medium tank, a, a, a much more bigger threat. I can't remember now if my opponent had enough for the super and probably would have destroyed this entire pyramid that we had here. That would have been game crushing. But yeah, you know, uh, I think I think on the bottom I'm starting to feel, starting to feel it. This top side, I'm beginning to feel a bit more confident on this top side. I have the recon and the scout, flare to scout as well. A couple of indirects and beefy tanks with my CO zone up here as well. Flying around in weird patterns, all just a scout, which is actually not that bad. Bomber is going to make a retreat, um, possibly to this airport, this, this one bomber to this airport. It will, it will reach actually. Medium tank, infantry, infantry, and my opponent has his own rocket. And he has another rocket down here as well. I keep missing these. I finally capture this one building on the top. Um, if I, I think looking at it now, we are now even 32 to 32. Medium tank, and here's all fighting for the center. Anti anti air. I was happy to kill. Uh, it's happy to shoot down whatever it can. Anti tank. That was that. Uh, trying to go for my uh, comm tower, but my duster and my flare do not allow it. I want to keep these at least one comm tower on each side. Bikes moving forward. Flare moving down the center. Recon trying to scout. 
um, hide my uh, artillery behind my recon to get some hopefully energy. Medium tank moves down. Yeah, this top side I'm almost feeling like I'm in the control. And I build a fighter. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw multiple bombers at this point, or I saw multiple air units. So I guess I wanted to. Uh, <clears throat> guess I wanted to maintain uh, some air dominance. Uh, it's kind of funny how this almost feels like a tribute to Tasha, because Tasha is also part of the Blue Luxurian Army, but uh, specializes in uh, offensive air units. Whew, turn 21. APC is uh, moving up. Flare! Yeah, this was a good flare. My p initial plan was to shoot whatever uh, whatever attack my flare or dusters. And maybe follow it up with Battlecopter, small tank. <sighs> but he now sees my plan, so um, I think he goes straight for the indirect. I don't know if he can actually. He can. But yeah. Now he's fighting control for the center. Look at that. Bomber. Just gonna co completely wipe me out. He has his radar. He can see everything. Poor anti-air that was down here. Duster just comes. Wipes off this infantry. Kind of trying to catch that, capture that radar. Flare on flare attack. It's actually a pretty good engagement. Yeah, with like dusters, two bombers. I really wanted this fighter. Anti tank. <laughs> Missiles. I would say this was a good call for my opponent. <laughs> Missiles. Base skipping again. We gotta start up a fresh turn, turn 22. I just have seven more energy. One more infantry. I mean, one more unit cost. As well as, well as unit value. And we are even on income. Flare tries to spot it out. Recon gets trapped by the APC. And yeah, here I'm just trying to kill uh, as many threats as I can. This artillery cannot do a whole lot because of the uh, because it's damaged. I think my plan was to capture this city and then go for the comm tower afterwards. Fighter coming down with their incredible mobility. Trying to save my city down here. Protect my radar. Double protect it with artillery. Yeah, building like a... Not a full defense. But if he tries to go anything, rockets here, medium tanks here. Dusters here. Yeah. You can see, um... We're, we're really keeping our units tight together. To prevent, uh... To cover each other. And I base skip again. My goodness, like... Was I desperate? Did I not think it mattered? That feels like a long time ago. <clears throat> Duster is going to take out my battle copter. Flares out the comm tower, sees nothing. He's going to engage. Probably going to lose that city on the bottom, which is why I probably went for this one on the top. He's got rockets, artilleries. Bombers. Yeah, he's got his uh, indirect slash uh, air air dominance going on here. Another indirect on their artillery. Ugh. And they're hidden too. Force that bike to retreat. Buys a medium tank. Battlecopter. Bike. Bike. Does not base skip that time. Alright, so... Oh, I forgot- I, 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 I gave up the, uh... I gave up this, the capture, actually. And wanted the comm tower. I, I felt that this was huge. And, uh, because I saw nothing was in the area, I'm like, okay, a comm tower could maybe help me swing, uh, something in, the, in my advantage. Fighter, duster... Yeah, they, they were... They all came down to like destroy that one enemy duster. I put my uh, air, uh, copter on the airport to refuel, resupply as well, so maybe protect my comp tower as well. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, this is why you don't want a base skip. This is why you always want to buy infantry if you get the chance. 
because here you see my tanks are all up here. They have one, two, three. They have one, two, three cities, one comp tower, and two temporary, uh, temporary ports that do provide like small vision. When you have infantry and bikes to follow up your forces, you can just like you know create like a little defense, defensive wall here, and protect your infantry capturing the cities that you surpassed position-wise. Yeah, and I do my best to defend this uh, this comm tower on the top. It's like I'm about to get two. Um, I'm about to hopefully get a nice swing in my favor. And look at that, more indirects and more good tanks. Uh, Anti-tank, medium tank, and infantry up here. Flares out the center. This was a really good flare down here, by the way. Flares out the top, she's my battle copter. Ru kinda ruins my plan. APC is just scouting around. This is why you see all these uh, weird movements. And um, I kinda like the, the vision that uh, Days of Rune has. So yeah, he's pulling back on his left side. Um, I've got a fighter for his bombers. But uh, my opponent has missiles. Which are so far well kept hidden. Uh, flare. Like, you know, flare, battlecopter, infantry. Alright, the start of a fresh turn, turn 24. Quick look, uh, I have, we are still even, 32 buildings, but 27 income. And we are also even in units, so turn 24, this is a very close game. But um, here you can see that I finally have both comm towers, and I took one of his cities, so I took away a thousand to take a thousand. So uh, I, think, I think with just that now, I'm ahead, yeah, I'm 4,000 ahead in income. That is crazy. Tank moves down, kills off the APC. <clears throat> yeah, looking at this now, I just spent twenty-four thousand to kill off of five thousand uh, to kill off a five thousand cost unit. And uh, this is why vision is also important. I think I'm out of I, I'm out of ammo to use my flare. And you can kind of see what I got myself into now with this attack. I guess this rocket can cover, this artillery can cover, artillery minor covering. Actually, I take that back, no cover at all. If it was up one tile up, get these crucial four spots, because the city looks nice, I will admit. The city looks nice to attack from. But you are like it's like two tiles closer towards danger compared to if you were out here. I got the anti-tank uh, to cover as well, although it is on. Uh... Actually, no, I did have this recon, but buildings—you cannot see buildings. So yeah, flares can help you see buildings. Yeah, I will admit I do have that recon, but I am next to my opponent's radar. So my opponent can possibly see everything that's going on over here. I pull my fighter back because uh, I'm scared of any retaliation. Slowly pushing my forces down towards the bottom right to protect... Um, hopefully protect my comm tower. I stay in the center temporary airport to stay hidden. I buy a duster, anti-air, bike, and I skip. I did a lot of skippings. Flare, good job. Revealing everything here. This was a godlike flare over here. Kills off uh, my one tank, cripples my other tank. Gets that city on the bottom. Oh no. Gets a city on the bottom. I'm still four income ahead. No, I'm sorry, I take that back. That happens. Um, tank moves in, kills off my one tank on the radar. Infantry moves in, now he captures the city on the bottom. Now it's only a 2,000 uh, income lead. Probably would have stayed up to 4,000 had I kept that, had I kept this. 
but I am very happy to get this uh, comm tower. I'm slightly tanky, but all that damage still isn't gonna matter. Got a nice little rocket here <coughs> to stop that comm tower capture. Yeah, look at this. Helicopter moving in, tank moving in, rocket comes in, and the bomber just comes in, hits my rocket. Yeah, this this side here overextended. He he got rid of this uh this meteor, and he has a base. Like uh, how much how much do you have? They have like say movements, right? Six movements. So here we got one. Two, three. No. Oh, just one? Okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or six over here. And then another turn, they will be right here. Uh, with medium tanks, however, medium tanks have five movement. So, we got. They have five movement, but uh, is their movement cost the same, though? On terrain. Please excuse me. Uh, no, it's still the same, so, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe, like, slightly less by, like, a tile or two, but, yeah, I was so close to my enemy base. Um, I wasn't, I, it, it didn't, it didn't occur to me that, um, being this close, so, was actually a, a detriment to me. So yeah, killing off the bomber, crippling the tank and the bike, trying to stop him from getting my comp tower, get a nice indirect attack uh, to retaliate my one tank. I capture the city on the top left, trying to go for more. Uh, artillery pulls back due to the massive units that, uh, that were accumulated down here. Uh, my anti-tank to cover, my tanks hopefully. I have fighters. Fighters, although it looks like it's moving back, I think it was just enough range for it to retaliate no matter where a bomber would hit. Or the battlecopter, depending which one it feels like shooting first. <clears throat> yeah, just wheels rolling out. Two medium tanks and a bike. My opponent with 27,000 income, over 27,000 income, gets stopped by a bike. My tank gets shot and blasted by an artillery and a medium tank. Tabitha tank just wrecks, clears the way to kill my bomber. And my opponent, yeah, he's he's cleaning up on this side now. So, turn 25, I'm, I, I'm kind of losing two fronts here. I, I, like, I retreat at this front. And this front was completely crippled as well. So, um, yeah, that was a... Uh, and he just pulls back with his bomber. That was a devastating turn for me, I will admit. I will go ahead and look at the results afterwards. There's a medium tank on the bottom. Um, moving units, anti-air, and the medium tank. Is this turn 26, 27? Looks like uh, turn 26. I have 29,000 income. Buildings. Four ahead. But now even on units behind in value. Duster moves in, kills off the bomber. I was happy to get that off. Uh, rocket Battlecopter stopped the cap entirely. Probably gonna lose this Battlecopter, but I felt like I valued this comp tower more. Yeah, and I'm just like, you know, injuring the infantry. Uh, if you leave infantry injured, they cannot capture, um... They cannot capture in two turns, obviously. And this was a suicide capture. <laughs> Admittedly, a suicide capture. But I did have bikes to reinforce it. And it is protecting me to get this little temporary airport, which didn't really matter for value, just vision. If it ever comes to that point. Medium tank and fighters. I, ju I just keep positioning. It's like, keep them close enough to where if they attack something, my fighter will at least have a decent chance to cover them. 
I decided to join tanks here because next turn it will be a full. It'll be a full 10 HP. Ready to rumble. And here I build a bomber. I'm like, you know what? Um my opponent here. He's he's got he's got the ground dominance. Um I'm gonna need something heavy that can't get shot by that can't be shot on the ground by rockets and uh artillery. So I was just like, you know what, what about a bomber? Um however Yeah, what is that? One, two, three? Three different things I can shoot. I think that is the most targets I've ever seen a missile have. This missile is blessed. It is like, alright little missile, for now, from now on you get to choose what you shoot. What do you want to see go bye bye? <laughs> I crack myself up way too much. Like, cracking the lines, artillery right in the middle surrounding all my units. Yeah, missile shoots that. Artillery is moving in. This is my cop there, actually. If this tank stayed, I think I would have had a nice chance to shoot it with my rocket. It is a slight, it is a slightly injured tap the tank though. Flares in the middle sees nothing. Yeah, anti tank and rockets. They're they're getting rid of that. Yeah. Getting all these nice first strikes on my, uh, nice first strikes on me. This is why you have walls where your cheapest units are first. And look, he's got another rocket on the bottom. There's like three rockets now. One missile. Flare at the bottom. I see the C. I don't think I see the CO zone. The CO unit. I see the missile. I was like, oh, yep, yeah, there's the missile. Air units gotta be careful. I think I got trapped here. Really trying to reclaim this radio, this uh, radio tower. This radio tower as well. And yeah, um, that recon you just saw die. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, I'm just trying to kill whatever I can at this point. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking, even if I could see this missile. I guess I'm like, okay, well, one of these is gonna die. It can't shoot twice. I was like, alright, you know what, fighter and bomber on this side. I'm gonna, I'm losing this front. I'm gonna try to dominate with this front. Only thing is, though, my zone is on this side defending. And I have uh, everything else over here attacking. Uh, here you can kind of see the value of, uh, of what a CO zone really does. It's like, you, you, you can look at it for all the units, just like, uh, just 10% for all units. That 10% can actually stack. 10% and even like a slight defense, um, can also help. That's why in Advanced Wars, commanding officers like Javier and Von Bolts are good, even if they just have uh 10 percent defense they still hold themselves up in the in the, the tier one rankings but but uh, yeah this is why defense is very good i'm ho hoping i could maybe get a game of Bre of brenner maybe because brenner is the signified defense co you probably saw him during my war rooms yeah missiles doing work at risk of capturing my headquarters. Has like a little line of units down here. Yeah, he's not letting me keep those radars. Like I'm keeping him occupied with these units down here. I've got I've got forces here. Got a half force up here. Um Bomber moving down. Rockets moving up. And uh, the artillery, oh, not the artillery, the, the anti-air, they're all moving in. They're kind of front shifting now. Uh, he's got a tank, medium tank infantry. All right, turn 28. Yeah, you can kind of see, um, he kind of front shifted. He sees that I'm backing off of these properties, cannot see anything else. And he's doing like a slight little pincer strike, almost like a wave where got the wave up here 
and then it might just close in over here. Wouldn't care too much about what's up here because my biggest damage dealer is kind of crippled and my uh, direct attack. It's, it's suicide if I send it there. Turn 27, behind by two, still ahead by six income. Rocket, <clears throat> uh, it's going to stay hiding. I wanted to protect the city. Duster. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. This duster. <laughs> right in the arms of Tabitha's missile. This was a very good missile. <laughs> Tank, you know, kind of... Kind of trying to build up, regain some control in the center. As uh, I move some of my tanks around. Uh, into tank. Tank. Making sure all my units are close together so they could be a part of the action, so they could all cover each other. Yeah, those two units on the top are gonna take a while. I build another bomber, a flare. Uh, base skipping again. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is up with this base skipping? Uh, like, like half the time I'm convinced is because I'm just bad at math. Yeah, missiles. It was, it was a welcome. Battlecopter trying to scout. Flare catches everything here. Damages my rocket. You know, I got this bomber up here too. Tanks slowly starting to close in from uh, from the left, going towards the middle. Another bomber. Resting at the temporary airport. Uh, yeah. O almost like a, a little pincer strike. Slowly regaining control of the center. So he can uh, move in and regroup with the rest of his armies. Or they can all cover each other. Alright. Turn 29. Um, still ahead by 6,000, uh, behind by two units and some couple thousand in unit value, but uh, this is still very close. He has the very slight, slight uh, unit, unit disadvantage. I have a pretty alright income advantage. Did I say I have a slight unit disadvantage? Yeah, just by two. Turns are just a little less dynamic. Maybe if I didn't base skip all that much, I'd probably have a higher uh, a higher number of units and not just have so many expensive units that get shot down and maybe one hit. I promise, I've gotten a lot better. Or at least I hope I did. Oh. I was so impatient when I did that move. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh man, like, I don't even want that. I don't even want the headphones on anymore. I, I guess I kind of figured that this missile cannot hit this bomber. But, um, I also had to maybe consider so, I don't know if I was able to see Tabitha's meter, but... One off. Just one damage. From her own tank. To increase it by one. And what did I do? Oh, man. <clears throat> I, I, I guess I felt that... If I maybe kill, if I maybe damage this, 
and get too close to the missile, I would have a chance. Oh, that was so painful for me to see me do. <clears throat> but uh, I'm fighting back. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna control the center as well. I'm gonna, gonna try, gonna capture this radar in front of your face. Gonna protect it as well as I can. Yeah, like, 2 HP, 2 HP anti-tank, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not protecting anything. I, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm getting back control of the center. Yeah, I'll buy my own missiles up here this time. Bike, medium tank. <clears throat> that was all he needed. And now look. Anti-air. Even I, even I missed that anti-air. Um, <clears throat> during this replay. Just one shot's my bomber. Two units almost wasted like that. And he's got a bunch of indirects around Tabitha. Yeah. I am getting blasted. And none of none of these units are even in my CO zone. Maybe this tank, but it's not in combat. And here we got this infantry capitalizing or small properties. Missile comes in. Buffed up missile. Anything, anything this missile will touch will die. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, he's. What, what was that like? That was like. So. No, I want to see the HP of the HQ. HQ is four defense. This is equivalent to. 100 defense, and my bomber only did 5 damage. With two comm towers, nonetheless. I capture this temporary airport up here. And yeah, I'm just like, trying to finish off the scraps. This anti-tank can protect this comm tower, not this artillery though. Bomber trying to move down. I'm like... Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta start. Pushing back now. Trying to kill as much as I can. Yeah, th yeah, this was a problem. Uh, this is a problem here. Uh, gauge artillery. Um, if this artillery wants to do any shooting, you better hope that wherever it is, um, everything else near it wants to shoot. And you get and you get nicer damage if it's an indirect. But uh, yeah, you know, I see. Okay. Two medium tanks, kind of damage. An anti tank, probably gonna get hit back, but I got more over here. But uh, yeah, he's got that thing back there, admittedly. Missiles, flare. <clears throat> this artillery is doing a good job protecting this. Uh, protecting this. I'm sorry. Protecting this radar, and I just build more bombers and uh, artillery. 6,000 ahead in income, and like 3 units ahead. But keep in mind that I am 3 units ahead as player 1, and I just bought my units. He's probably gonna buy units and maybe uh, get even. Unless he starts killing things, then yeah, you can see that'll be slightly behind. APC moving up, capturing my one city, probably bring the income back to 2. Really good flare. Spots out everything. Rockets. They're they're messing me up. Rockets indirects. Yeah. Trying to hold center. Trying to hold this comm tower. Tanks are moving up. Oh my so my zone has finally expanded to the max. Which was kind of nice, but, uh, I'm nothing special. And yeah, he's just like, he's got a little wall over here. I, I probably, I don't see this coming. And he knows I don't see it coming. Alright, so my zone is at 60. Uh, if I wanted to use my 
artillery now. I'm sorry, if I wanted to boost my range with the artillery, I can't. So, uh, yeah, this is like another reason why um, you don't want to build uh, your CO's favorite units. You don't want to build your CO on your CO's favorite units. Like, like everyone else can get the chance to shoot far away, but not this, but not this artillery. Because he's the one that has to use up his turn to pop that power. Looks like I captured something. Flaring things out. Did that change the income at all? Oh, wow. I am... What is... 8,000 ahead. But I'm behind in units. 8,000 income. Holy crap. <laughs> Rocket comes out. Tank. Just slightly boosted enough to kill that. Uh, low on fuel for this guy. So I'm just putting him back there. Bomber going through, hiding behind two other units to uh, hopefully uh, follow up the next attack. And uh, yeah, fighter just to kind of block the, uh, <clears throat> the temporary airport. Bomber moving in, bike moving down, flare, protecting my radar by putting my unit on it. So he has to reveal it first before he could attack it and remove it. Uh, rocket, bike, uh, battle copter, and a base skip. I was probably very tired. I, re I think I was doing laundry while this was happening. Yeah, rocket hits my anti-tank. Rocket hits my flare. Tank can just move in. Artillery stays protecting, my, protecting the radar. Just, uh, just in range, f avoiding my rocket. So yeah, I'm not getting that radar back. Bomber coming in. Rockets. Dealing as much chip damage as it can. I'm not gaining anything because um, I'm already at full. I'm already at full 60. Can't go higher than 60. Yeah, captures a city on the bottom. And yeah, the anti-air. Having a fun one with that. Now just ahead by six income. Missile coming down with uh, with the tank. <clears throat> yeah, uh, two medium tanks over here covered by rockets. Bomber, anti-tank. Got his anti-air. Got his infantry. Got his tank. Base skipping. No, not base skipping. Uh, flaring the three fronts. Comm tower, center, and uh, near my comm tower. I get trapped because these are all temporary. Rocket comes in and kills that. Artillery, bombers, <clears throat> all moving in. Fighter retreats because this is uh, an anti-air and you don't want to stick around for, for that. Artillery, I move it here because most of my units will be in the zone as well as I hope to get some shots off in case uh, something ever goes through uh, duster anti-air bike and I like form a little defense around my artillery please don't tell me I base skipped again I base skipped again what is wrong with me We're, e we're even on units, but remember, I'm player one. <clears throat> Gonna get my temporary airport. Spots out everything uh, with the flare. Not even shooting the flare, just moving the flare around and can see all that. Except for the bike in the back. Yeah, it looks like a little front shift is happening here. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is something I should have been doing as Gage. Moving my CO unit around and giving it the offensive boost that it needs. Anti-air, really, really hurt to see that. And now, he's, now I got a bomber, but he's got like two anti-airs and a missile up here. All trying to capture my comp tower. And the missile is just right behind Tabitha. 
a little, uh, almost doing like a little pincer again. Slightly surrounding me by getting a little bit of the left anti-air anti bike-bike copter from my opponent. <clears throat> yeah, here I finally use it. I'm like, artillery's in the center, probably can attack next turn. CO zone. I have all this reach, I have all this damage boost. My CO zone is expanded everywhere. I'm like, you know what? I got to do this now. And yeah, I'm doing work. Look at that. I'd like, can, can you, would you say this was a bad turn? Would you say this was a bad super? Cause yeah, I've, I came in, I just started blasting everything. You know, classic long range sniper, boom, far away. But uh, I will admit, um, I, I, I am very positive that I built this tank because this was probably going to die. <laughs> you know, I was kind of okay with it because um, if this dies, then I'll have my CO unit back in a tank, which is a more preferred unit. Yeah, um, oh yeah, I, I brought the unit value back in my favor. So it's hard for me to say that that was a bad super turn. Admittedly, really hard for me to say, but... That missile... And that bomber, and the, the zone, now it's 60. If he wanted to pop it, now he could. It probably hit this. But uh, yeah, you know, I see my artillery getting shot. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to lose that artillery. And although it was sad, it still kind of did its job and had a really, really good turn for the last one. But yeah, now you see that. It's starting to look like that. My opponent's getting more control of the center. And I just have like indirects off to the side. Can this missile even reach? It can't hit that bomber. Wait, no. It cannot hit that bomber. It's it still has the it still has a plus two range buff. And it's not gonna matter for next turn. Pulling some units back. Flare, anti-air, and a flare anti-air tank. I load my CO zone back in a comfortable. Oh wow, I did have enough range for my missile here. Oh yeah, this was enough. Put my CO zone comfortably back in a tank. <laughs> I love how anti-tanks can just shoot copters out of the air. Bomber, I would say a good strike. I would say like these look good because I still have my second comp tower. Yeah, um, trying my best to uh, cover all my units with these uh, with these indirects. Got my seal zone coming back in the fray. Yeah, it's just like all trying to cover each other. I th yeah, I think at this point I knew I had to surrender the comp tower. He had too many forces protecting it. Unfortunately, this comp tower might go to my opponent. But this one up here, still pretty good. Tank, helicopter, and I base skipped again. And I am no longer even on units. Still had an income, but not units. <clears throat> yeah, everything is just way too close. And nice enough for my opponent to like, start getting hits off. Flares off the radar, doesn't catch a whole lot. Flares trying to move in. Knows he knows his infantry is safe, so he's going for it. Yeah, has more forces pulling up. Almost has a nice little defensive sort of line like this. So uh, yeah, it'll be hard to to pierce through and start hitting things from the inside. Flare only swats out the flare. Confident to move his artillery slightly up. It's a nice. Uh, Tap of that is nice music. Transport copter, APC, and infantry flare. Transport copters is kind of interesting. I, I guess, uh, kind of doing the same thing I did. 
if you dominate a spot, you can regain control of it with, uh, with infantry. Alright, so, six ahead, nine units behind this time. So I would, so that was a, a really good turn for my opponent. <laughs> Anti-tank just firing the battlecopter. Rocket, a rocket kind of stays behind to hopefully protect whatever could be coming over here. I'm trying to get as much hits as I can, but it's just like expending so many of my units. I'm trying to rebuild my meter back, I'm up at six. Because I just brought in a fresh tank. Battlecopter. I, I really like their units this game. Was, was, was my head still stuck playing Tasha? <laughs> Another bomber and infantry. I don't I don't base skip this time. And it puts me a little closer to <laughs> I've said it before. Don't base skip. Don't base skip. Don't base skip. Your 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 numbers will just fall behind. You'll be playing a game of catch up. Oh my gosh, now we're in 20 minutes. I'm sorry, I know you guys don't want to see a movie here, so. I'm gonna try to minimize the pausing. Uh, Catcher's a comp tower begins to flare out where anything could be. And that uh, medium tank on the bottom with the CO zone slowly coming back towards those indirects on the middle bottom side of the map. He's coming in from my. Uh, fr from the left flank. He's getting all these nice first strikes. Damaging these artillery, so they don't even do a lot of damage if they counterattack. Yeah, it's like front shift back to the center, and yeah, it's uh, it's closing. Flare, uh, two anti airs, and a battle copter. Turn thirty six. Thirty six guys. Oh, uh, I immediately build another bomber. I'm like, okay, I feel like bombers can save me now. I just gotta find that missile. Duster comes in, kills that, and uh, you know I'm slightly gaining control of, you know, the center. Look at me go. I have everything off that center island now. Choose to join my anti tanks. Join my anti tanks together. Rocket stays hidden but staying on to that comp tower I lost one I don't want to lose the other and uh, yeah anti I basically okay. <clears throat> another good flare really quickly three units behind base skipping wouldn't put me behind by that much I'm somehow I'm somehow ahead in income I think it's like 20,050. Exactly 20,050, if I'm correct. We're moving in. The city, five more points away from being captured. And yeah, he's moving in. Um, that flare, it could, it could catch out my rocket. But uh, yeah, um, remember how I mentioned death balls? It's looking like that my opponent is having the better death balls than uh, than me. <laughs> I I don't play a lot of grit personally, so my death ball experience is limited in a way. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to build death balls. Tank, tank, triple tank. Safe build, safe build. Moving his tanks up. Yeah, my opponent my opponent's making the the smarter builds. Other than me, I'm just trying to have that go big or go home mentality. Trying to deal as much damage as I can to that artillery. Flare comes down, sees uh my battlecopter would be safe. I don't know if I know I'll be losing that city or not. I probably do, because it's my city, my vision. Yeah, I'm like, okay, it's just starting to work. I can maybe Get, get something over here. But he did bring his CO zone closer towards the center. And yeah, here, this is like, alright, you know what? I'm just gonna pull back for a little bit. 
I'm gonna give him this island, and then I'm going to punish him for it. I am at 42 with uh, with my CO zone. You know, honestly, this is kind of interesting. Um, my opponent hasn't used his super yet. You can just imagine where that is going to go. Yeah, just just imagine where that super would land. And then imagine everything with plus 60 just going in. But yeah, here, this was scary. Rocket just one shots a full full uh, a full tank. And what does that tell me? Tabitha's right there. Yeah, now he's got like units inching closely on the left side. Builds another missile. He really wants to be dead. <laughs> and we can see a transport copter on the bottom. Probably brought the infantry all the way up here. And I was like, alright, yeah, this is gonna be a good strike. Oh, I got trapped here. Rocket's gonna retreat. Trying to scout around down here. Get rid of that flare. Does not kill that uh, infantry, although it's in a well defended forest. Um, but I'm by six, ahead by two. So yeah, income is slowly starting to get back to even. Pull back my bombers, artillery slightly moving up. I, I guess I pulled it back because I was afraid something, a missile would be here. So I was like, you know what, let's go back and then maybe go this way. Or at least that's what I think my game plan was. And I think my plan here was to just pull back my units together. It's like, you know, I got... I'm probably like maybe extending, overextending or whatever, but I'm pulling back, having my units together. Probably because I felt like I was losing this left side here. Hello, Tabitha. I didn't mean to rub your face. Yeah, sees that I'm gone, sees I've moved up, and yeah, he's taking advantage of it. Missile, rocket, crushing, crushing my right side down here. And yeah, just moving forward, capturing whatever properties he can. Battlecopter stops my infantry. I only have a Battlecopter defending that side currently. And the tank retreats. Transport Copter is transporting infantry to capitalize on the, uh, on the front shift advantage, whatever you call it. Slowly moving Tabitha forward. Does not want to expose this Tabitha. Tank tank, medium tank from the bottom. And I'm losing that radar on the uh, the bottom here. I flare I flare out my opponent. I see everything now. I can kind of see what they're doing. Rocket stops that infantry. I interrupt that cap. Stop that cap entirely. And I'm trying to join all my units together because um, I I want my opponent to come to me. Make them overextend, and then I will punish them. Tank stops that base skip. Artillery pulled back to hopefully cover my uh, medium tank on the side. Um, I try to retreat with the uh, retreat and heal with the temporary airport on the side. Copter can protect my medium tank on the bottom. And uh, yeah, I don't base skip this time. Turn 39. Could we make it to turn 40? <laughs> Still sees that the center island is empty. But doesn't make the push. Just taking advantage of uh, those Tabitha boosted indirects. Oh my god, an hour 30. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you guys watch a movie, but that's what it's unfortunately look like, looking like. Yeah. That, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that flare really saved my opponent. <laughs> and I've completely lost my skeleton crew of my left front. And now he's taking advantage of it. Uh, flare, APC, flare. Pulls the helicopter, pulls the helicopter back. Transport copter back. 
drops an infantry right in front of all those juicy properties he could capture. Flare, flare. I'm like, okay, bomber, go defend that side. Artillery, defend whatever. Bomber. I was like, yeah, I'm losing. I gotta push. And I'm pushing into Tabitha units. And I'm trying to get as much CO zone as I can. I'm trying to chip away at whatever is on the the right side. Rocket's gonna move in. Missile will move in. Duster moves in to cover. Artillery. Yeah, this yeah, this time I'm the one coming in. I'm trying to control the pace of the battle. But um uh, What turn is this? No, it's I know what turn it is, but I'm now behind by nine. Uh hold on. Yeah, I'm behind by nine. Thirty thousand unit value behind. Um bikes, artillery, bomber, tank. Yeah. Another whole lot of base skips. Rocket sees my anti tank. Flare comes in, anti-air comes in. He's just flaring out everything. One shot to my CO zone. Trying to capture that city back there. Artillery is damaged. I can't damage that uh, copter with a bomber. He's got missiles coming in. Indirects all over. Tabitha tank, just doing Tabitha things. Yeah. Uh, Oof. Really good turn for my opponent. Really, really good turn for my opponent. Flare. Yeah. I mean, do I even need to say anything? Do I actually have to tell you how this fight is going? <laughs> So, um, I am now 16 units behind. Um, in, I'm now 16 units behind. And I resign. <sighs> 2200 actions in that, in that match. Let's just, just do this real quickly. Cause, oh, I am, uh, I am exhausted from that one. Whew, um... <clears throat> Three major things that happened during that game. One, I kept buying expensive units. I thought if I kept teching up, um, that would force my opponent to tech up and then maybe force them to do the same thing. <laughs> Didn't work out. Number two, um, maybe I was overextending and putting too many, too many forces um, for trying to keep certain areas and keep certain properties, like that comm tower on the side, it was it was really nice to have, but um, it it might not just be something that's just like game changing. It's not. It wasn't exactly a win button to just have both comm towers on the map. And three was uh was impatience, that uh, anti air, and bomber trying to stop that Tabitha tank. The Tabitha tank was. One point away from expanding her zone, all she had to do was just shoot the anti-air. And then my opponent's own anti-air can just one-shot my bomber because um, because it's in the top of the zone and it just dies. Um, but uh, yeah, I am sorry if you guys do not want to sit here for the full plus 90 minutes of stall ingrat. <laughs> I'm not funny. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would say that was a very good game. Um, just very embarrassing to see how I used to play Advance Wars. And I am doing my best to try to improve. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Advance Warrior, and you all have my warmest regards. Have a good night.